Perfect. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your Pilates 35 minute power Pilates Express. My name is Jennifer. We are here on location at the boulevard. We're going to start with a nice little easy warm up this afternoon. Um, from here, if you have a small ball, go ahead and grab it in your hands. If you don't have a ball, you're just going to hold your hands as if you were holding on to one and spread the fingers nice and wide. Feet are just a little wider than your hips. Let's go ahead and take a nice big breath in to reach up. And then as you exhale, let's take a little lateral bend into the right side body. Hi, Fiona. Welcome. We're just getting started. Inhale, coming back to center to lift. As you exhale through your mouth, try to lengthen through the right side of your body as you go to the left side. Good. Let's try that again. Big inhale to center to fill. Squeeze the ball if you have it there between your palms. Feel your biceps engage. One more. Inhale. Exhale, come all the way up and over to your left side. So if you have no band, your, your belt ball, you're just lateral bending, inhale back to center. From here, as you exhale, let's go ahead and dive forward. Come all the way down into a forward fold. Heel toe, heel toe your feet a little wider. You're gonna press your right fingertips onto the ball or onto the floor, open your left arm up. So nice little easy T-spine stretch this afternoon. Good job, you guys. Inhale. As you exhale, let's bring the left hands to the floor or to the ball, pressing into the ball, open your right arm up. Big lateral side body stretch here. Good job, guys. We're getting set for a nice full body workout this afternoon. Bring your right palm down, scoop up the ball, and then draw your low ribs in. Slowly start to restack yourself one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms reach up. Now this time as you exhale, can you pivot to your right side? Pivot your right foot forward. You're gonna reach all the way forward towards your right big toe. Find the ball to tap the floor. Inhale to reach all the way up. Pivot right foot forward, left foot goes forward, diving over a flat back. Right over that left thigh. Good, so we're finding some space in our body. Inhale to reach up. And then pivot all 10 toes forward. Last time to dive forward. Nice little quick warm up here, guys. From here, right palm goes down one more time. Left arm reaches up. See if you can find a little bit more space on that one. Good job, guys. Inhale, left hand comes down. Exhale to twist. Beautiful job. Nice work, you guys. Right hand comes down. Getting ready to dive right in. Slowly roll yourself up bone by bone. One vertebra at a time. Let's hop your feet together. Vera is here. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead right away. If you've got some small dumbbells, we're gonna pick them up this afternoon. And we're gonna start with a nice wide stance. Toes angle out. Watch the arms. We start with a little plie and lift. Little plie and lift. So nice and strong. You're squeezing your glutes at the top. Toes angle out, nice and wide. Let's go for eight. Exhale, good. So waking up your inner thighs, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, chest and shoulders. It's four and tall. Go three. Last two here. Come on down into your squat and stay down there with me. So we pulse eight and seven. Now pull the shoulder blades back. Yeah, really turn on through your posture. One more round of eight. Here we go for eight, getting warm. Seven, six, and five. Good job, guys. Four, three, two. From here, inhale, arms circle the stand. Sweep all the way up. Turn all 10 toes forward. Dive over your thighs. Come right on down. Let your head be heavy here. Oh yeah, getting warm here. Slowly start to round your back up, back to your center. Nice work, you guys. Simple, simple. Pivot on your left foot. Turn your right toes forward. We're gonna work down and up. So nice, easy little split lunge. Lots of lower body in this series today. Watch the change in the arms. You might add on a little front raise. So inhale, exhale. Zipping up through your core, guys adding a little bit of chest and shoulders. On that lift, we go for four and tall, three. Yes, last two here. Now, can you hold this lunge down? Straighten out your right leg so your left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Moving into a little fly here, guys. We're gonna open the arms out and center. I can't quite get past the wall with my left arm, but you know what I mean. It's a little reverse fly. Let's go for eight center seven nice and strong squeeze six you got it karen that's it really charge up your right thigh guys four good and three let's go two more take it up last one nice work everyone roll the shoulders come right up pivot all ten toes forward take a breath in reach up exhale fold forward Whew. all the way over your thighs good see if there's a little bit more room for you to fold there everyone take a breath in 
and then exhale bone by bone come up re you're articulating your spine one vertebra at a time beautiful job guys use this time to set this up pivot on your right foot then pivot all ten toes to face forward bending into our back knee front knee we work that little stationary split lunge inhale Woo. yes so we're working into your front glute and top of the left hip so we inhale to come down exhale to lift up good try to zip up your core as much as you can you got this guys let's go for five option to take your hands on your waist if you don't want to use the arms three last two one more can you stay down straighten out your left leg and dive over your right thigh good here we go a little fly so we take it out and in both arms go out and in i'm a little bit stuck by my wall beside me so i can only do my left arm but if you guys have room take both arms out and in good little exhale like you're catching a little pencil between your shoulder blades let's go up and down good exhale oh we can feel that right thigh good last one guys slowly roll yourself up straighten both legs ten toes go forward inhale to lift exhale to fold come right on down Woo. big inhale slowly build and roll take it up nice work guys let's go ahead and grab that little prop so you're gonna grab your ball keep your dumbbells we're gonna add on here so if you have the little prop between your thighs hello Steph good you're gonna grab the ball between thighs dumbbells are in our hand or light little balls shoulders roll back we're gonna do a little squat as we squeeze the ball so we inhale exhale so inhale so notice as we start to stand we're gonna engage your adductors by squeezing that ball. It might be a yoga block today. It might be a pillow from your couch. Inhale, Woo. getting nice and warm. Good and early guys, keep it going. It's Seven down and tall. Drop, let's go, four more. Inhale, four. Really connecting Exhale. each movement with our breath. Last two. Inhale on the second Let's go down and pulse here, guys. Keep it down. Exhale. Let's go. Down eight and seven. Inhale Check your posture. Three. Roll your shoulder blades one, back two, three, strong. Three, Six. One more round of eight down here, guys. We go uh, eight. Just a meditation tool. Seven. I'm going to turn to the side. Six. Something five. Keep it going. Focused. Four. Three. Watch the change. Two. Hold your squat. It's pull, push, in release so we have 16 reps here guys so if you want to change to a heavier weight pull stack you'd be able to use your eights here step if you want pull squeeze you got it little back and tricep work pull squeeze in now keep thinking about pulling your belly button to your spine to support your lower back here guys very nice this is seven squeeze so we have one more round of eight. If you can maintain this posture, let's go ahead and finish this up, guys. So we pull one, kick, in, release. Again, it's pull, push, good. Lots of work happening in the lower body, guys. Upper body posture is strong, in, release. Again, Woo. we got four more. Let's finish strong, guys. Here we go, pull, it's Monday, in, release let's go for three push back bring it in last two last two we go up kick it out bring it in last one one squeeze in and release roll it up slow controlled beautiful job you guys nice work from here let's bend down from the waist take your weights to the floor if you can manage this plant your palms either step step or hop back to a high plank keeping the ball between your thighs that's it now we're going to come a downward facing dog so you either have the ball between your thighs or just with your body weight from here everyone can you come to the balls of your feet Simply and then we're going to articulate ourselves bone by bone to slowly start to ripple yourself forward and land in that top of a push-up high plank squeeze let's try it again inhale hips take you up and back now exhale through your mouth, rounding through your spine, peeling and articulating your shoulder blades to land right on top of your wrist. Let's try one more time, guys. Inhale, take your hips up and back. Come to the balls of your feet. 
slowly start to undulate yourself forward to land in this high plank. Nice work, guys. We're gonna tap and straighten the legs. Inhale, knees touch, straighten. So it's inhale, exhale. So option to come to your knees and just hover and hold if you don't like that up and down. Tap, center, little touch and center, little touch and center, last one. Hold your high plank, squeeze your bum, eight, seven, breathe, six. Keep pushing away from your mat. It's four, three, two, slowly start to crawl your fingertips back towards your toes at the back of your mat. Check in with your forward fold, big inhale. As you exhale, round through your chest and your shoulders up bone by bone. Nice work, you guys. Whew. All right, let's take that ball away from your thigh. If you have a band, let's grab the band now. All right, from here, we're gonna scoot the band, but today, can you keep the band around just the base of your shin, the outside of your shin, so higher than your ankle bones, but not quite at your knees, all right? So from here, keep a little micro bend in your knees. Chest is forward, bum is back. We're gonna do just a little side leg touch. Touch, 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 touch. So a little draw in through the belly button. My band is really, really, really thick. So I can't quite straighten my leg. If it feels like it makes more sense for you to pull it up higher, go ahead, push. That's it, stay nice and low, glute activation. Eight, seven, six, good Karen, five, Go four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Bending from the knees. Find a chair pose, reaching your fingertips forward, sinking deep into your chair from your yoga series. Yes, try to draw your shoulders away from your ears. Come on down, sink a little bit lower. Yes, good, good. Five, four, three, two. Dig into your heels, root your rise. Come up, exhale, we fold over top of your thighs. Nice work, guys. Let's roll it up. Try a second step. So again, feet together. Bum is back, chest is lifted. Little tap, side to side, left and right. Small little movement. Here we go. So it's out, out, out. And you wanna coordinate a little staccato breath. I have a really heavy band. If you have a lighter band, try to reach your leg as far as you can. Little exhale, exhale. Oh yeah, Ooh, four. Three, are you ready to find that chair again, you guys? Find your chair, have a seat. Reach your arms forward. Sink back in your heels, get low. Yes, now can you add a little pulse here? Eight, drop, seven, yes. Have fun with it today, guys. Six, little sweat on the brow, five. Good, 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 it's four, and strong. Three, yes, yes, last two, and Heels drive all the way up. Big inhale, little baby back bend. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Oh yeah, nice work. From here, if you have a moment, start to roll yourself up. Take the band away from your thighs. Good job, guys. Let's go back to the beginning of that set. So we're gonna grab your ball. We're gonna face the opposite direction. Setting ourselves up for that little bent over row into your tricep kickback. So we're gonna find chair pose. Weight is forward, back is flat, back of your neck is long. We go one, two, three, release. So it's a little squeeze. Second set of this posture work today, guys. You got it, pull, push. Think about finishing each movement with a precise mindset. Little pull, take it back. Really nice, guys, dialed in. I know you're with me, Jackie. Steph, you might have your eights here. We're eight reps in. We're gonna balance out what we did on round one. Kick, in, release. We go, pull, push, in. Good, good, four more. Keep it going, guys, nice and strong. So we pull, in, squeeze, in, release. Good, three. Nice work, guys. Last two, in and out. Let's finish off one last one. You got this, guys. All right, from here, roll it up. Give your low back a little breath there. Nicely done. From here, let's come down to the floor. Take your weight down. Now, transition is either stepping back or bending your knees. Lift your palms, hop the back. High plank. Now we tap the knees. Down and up. So we're getting nice and strong into our lower abdominals. If you have that ball, Try to keep that consistent squeeze through your inner thighs. You got it, inhale, exhale, down, 
slight little hover of those knees, we go for four, four. If this is too much, guys, take a little break in child's two and one. Good job, guys. Take your hips up and back. Find your downward face. Big inhale. We're gonna try those three ripples forward into a high plank. Come to your toes and then bone by bone, rounding up your back, bending in your high plank. Inhale, hips take you up and back. Beautiful downward facing dog shape. Again, think about undulating your spine, coming to the tips of your toes, hollow out your breastbone to land. One more, hips go up. Nice work, you guys. One more time, come tops in the toes, round and roll. Good, from here, can you walk your hand to meet yourself at the back of your mat? Beautiful job, guys. Slowly roll, to build, to build all the way up. Woo. All right, nice work, gang. So if you have a little sip of water, go ahead and grab some water. We're gonna take ourselves down to the mat. Hi, Laureen, for the remainder of this workout. So let's take ourselves right down to the floor. I'm gonna pull mine out a little bit so you can see me. So you wanna have all three props around you. All right, your band. If you have a block or a ball, your ball and your weights. So let's start here, guys. We're gonna take the ball and we're gonna pop it in between your knees, okay? And then let's pick up your weights. So from here, sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna scoop your belly in as you roll halfway back to center. Now from here, can you take the weights up, away from you, and then open? So from the front, it looks like this. We press center, open and close. So the whole time in this descended position, can you think about keeping that nice strong squeeze of the ball? So if you have that block or that ball, your adductors connect directly into your pelvic floor. So we find our transverse abdominals a lot more easily when we have that little prop between our thighs. Yes. Ooh. Are you feeling this core? Definitely feeling my upper and lower abs here. Let's go strong, guys. Yes. If you need a little break, go ahead and take it or stay in with me. Take it up, that's it. Down, open, close, reach up, it's drop. We're gonna turn right into a set of oblique twists here, guys. Right and left, exhale. This is an express class, so I encourage you to take rest when you need. But we're gonna keep moving through. You got it. Four, three, one more round of each, guys. Take it straight up to the chest. Up, in, open, and close. Reach up, oh yeah. In, open, two more. Nice and strong, press. Two, three, nice job, gang. Ready for that rotation. Let's go left side first. This time it goes left, right. Connecting with your Pilates breath. Little turn. Rotate, we go for eight, it's seven, go six and five, last four, three, oh my goodness, two, one, take it to center, reach it up, big breath in, allow your hands to find the mat beside you, and then gently fold over your thighs, Whew. shaking the legs out, good job gang, slowly rolling yourself up, okay, little change here, we're going to take the ball, we're going to place it right between your shoulder blades. We come back onto the floor, your knees are bent, your feet are flat. So if you have no ball, guys, go right all the way down. If you have a ball, fingertips behind your head. We inhale down to open up the chest and shoulders, then we exhale to curl. All right, so with or without a ball, inhale down. And up, So with the ball, we're getting a little bit more ability for your spine. Inhale, exhale. If you're on the floor, feel free to add a little lift with one leg or the other. Exhale, oh yeah, upper and lower abdominals working together. Exhale, now let's add a little twist here, guys. So we go down, cross, center, cross. So using your obliques to draw that opposite shoulder over. Inhale, exhale. Woo. Can you feel this today, guys? Can we go back to the middle and pulse up for eight? Eight, seven, little staccato breath, six and five. Pulse four, it's three, it's two. One more round of eight, stay with me guys. Eight and seven, pulse six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Woo. If you guys have a ball, just allow your body to drape over top. If you're on the floor, just extend your arms right up over your head. So if we have that ball between your shoulder blades, it's a nice opener for your chest there. Beautiful job, guys. From here, let's slowly come up. We're gonna take the ball away for just a moment. I'm gonna invite you onto the left side of your body. We're gonna do a little bit of lower body leg series here. So setting up on the left side, your hand comes behind your head or goes all the way to the floor. We're gonna extend both legs out long today. So no knee and bend in the knee. So your shoulder, your hip, your knee and your ankle bone are in alignment. Your right fingertips come down for balance. Flex your top foot, exhale, inhale. So it's a little breath out through your mouth and we're gonna dorsally flex this left foot. Exhale, and down. Can you try to make sure you're stacking your right hip, yes, on top of your left? Good, now let's change that ankle to a pointed foot. So we, and down, exhale, and down. Think about what our pelvis is doing. Dip the navel towards the spine. We go for four, and center, exhale, three. You got it, guys. So coming up is one point and then one flex with that right foot. So we go point, release, then flex. Oh yeah, feel the outside of your right glute doing a lot of work here. Let's go for four, up and down, exhale, three. Oh, I can feel that for sure. Two, can you take this right leg up and hold it? Hold it here, little pulse, up and up. And then let's listen to my breath here. It's short. So we're coordinating the movement with that little pulse. That pulse comes with our staccato breath. Ooh, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Can you point your right foot? Now maybe you start to check some balance with me. Can you take your right hand up and away from the floor? We hold for five, four, three. Good, Karen. Two, one. Ooh, let's bring everything down. Good job, guys. Little stretch here. Let your right leg come across to the left side, and then maybe you spin over your right shoulder. Oh, I got a lot of that on that right side today. Nice work, guys. Let's stay on this side. We're gonna set this up again. Come back to center. Come back to lining those feet up side by side. The movement, we're gonna pick this top leg up. You're gonna tap your right knee to the mat and then press the right heel to the ceiling. So we go, inhale, exhale, inhale. So a little internal rotation with that right hip. You got it, exhale, Whew. so strong. Inhale, exhale, good. We're getting this outer side of this glute medius here. Let's go for four, four, push, three. Connecting with our breath, last two, and last one here, guys. Beautiful job. From here, can you slowly make your way onto your back body? We will get to the other side, but we're gonna do a little interlude here. All right, so setting up with your heels close to your bum, can you extend your right leg out? Flex the heel and hover the heel away from the floor. So the movement is like this, exhale, inhale. So we breathe out. So you're just lifting that right leg, flexing the heel with your breath. Exhale, now option to take the hands behind the head, add a crunch. Yes, that's your option. Now, third option, guys, is to hover the left foot in tabletop. Up. Now that's pretty advanced, okay, because we have to stabilize your lower abdominals. So I'm gonna keep my left foot on the floor for my own back today but I want you to get the most out of this workout, guys. So do what works for you. Release, good, exhale, release. Let's go, strong, and out. Up. Good, use that breath. Inhale down, exhale, we curl. Four more, strong, strong. Four, release, three, yes. Good job, guys, stay in two. Last one. Oh, good job, beautiful work, you guys. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little sway side to side. So do you remember that little rolling like a ball movement we did last week? Let's cross over at your ankle bones. Take your hands around your shins and see if you can start to find that little rock and roll. So we're gonna hollow out your breastbone, coming up and finding yourself on both sits bones. So you might start to experiment taking the legs wide and maybe sometime working towards your full teaser. That's it, Karen, good. Ooh, that should feel nice on our lower back. Oh my goodness, you guys, I can't wait to have you back at the club. All I'm looking at right now is the water. Oh, so inspiring. One more time, inhale. Now when you're ready, guys, come all the way up. Oh yeah, and let's just gently make our way to our opposite side. Oh, all right. 
I think it's going to be hard to put this back into the dining room when we come back to the club. <laughs> All right, so setting up on your right side. Now, your right hand either comes underneath your ear or maybe you find more comfort laying your ear on your bicep. But from here, do me a favor. Can you check that your shoulders, your hips, your knees, and your ankle bones are in one line? Here we go. Flex the ankle up and down. So press, release. So if you can notice in my pelvis, everyone, nothing's moving there, right? So there's no rocking forward or back. I'm trying to stack my left hip on top of my right as I move my left hip up and away. Exhale, let's point the foot this time, guys. Point, release. So this left leg is super, super strong. Four more with your pointed foot, four. We gotta balance out what we did on that right side. I'm always more tired on my left. <laughs> Here we go, flex the heel. So it's one flex and one point. Nice and controlled, one flex. And if you're looking to progress, you might experiment doing this with the hand away from the mat, right? Good, one flex. Now hold it up, keep the heel flexed, pulse it out. Eight, seven, listen to the breath. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, I'm definitely burning. Ready to point that toe, guys? Pulse it out for eight. Seven, hang in, six and five, pulse four, it's three, two, now hang on to it, hold it if you can. Now option, zip up your jeans, pull your navel really strong and see if you can start to explore taking your left hand away. Really reach for four, spread your fingers really wide, energy everywhere guys, it's two and gently everything comes down, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> well deserved, bend this left knee and then allow your left arm to open and rotate behind you. Big inhale to send breath to your outer glute cheek. Big exhale to slow it down. Ooh. Beautiful job, guys. We're almost there, coming back to reset, all right? I love this low impact way of really getting into our lower body. From here, restack, left hip over right, fingertips down, take the right left leg away. We're gonna bend this left knee, tap it and push it. Push, center. So tap, exhale, touch down. So you're gonna feel that internal rotation. So we're getting into that little extra part of our glute here. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Have a great meeting, Karen. Thanks for coming. Here we go, four, press, three, exhale, two, exhale. Last one here, guys. And then gently bring everything down. Beautiful job. We're on the home stretch from here. Can you pivot onto your back? We're gonna lay ourselves down flat, setting up into this, um, approaching a bridge position, but we're gonna extend your left heel out this time. So can you hover the left heel away from the mat and that left leg is strong. So from here, guys, it's just an exhale and release. That's option one, exhale and release. Just drawing your low ribs down, keeping your low back flat. Option to add on here, everyone, is to bring your fingertips behind your head and add that half curl up with the leg extension, sorry, leg flexion. So we breath out as we come up. Now, if you really wanna push yourselves here today, guys, you can bring your right leg to tabletop, hover that out as you work the left thigh. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my right foot on the mat. Still struggling a little bit with my own back injury here. So it's really important to listen to your bodies, guys. Do what feels good for you today. Exhale, release, exhale and center. Nice work, guys. Hang in, hang in for four, three, last two, and it's one. Nice work, guys. Coming all the way to the mat. Really nice. Crossing at your ankle bones. Either option to stay here or to add a few little attempts at your teaser in your series today, or it might just be a rolling like a ball. So the teaser is a really tricky one because we are using quite a bit of core strength maybe a tiny little bit of momentum, hopefully not too much momentum, but as we learn, that'll go. I'm gonna bring my legs in today. That feels better for my body. Let's try a couple more. Nice work, guys. We're gonna finish off with one last little set for our core. When you get to the top of your rolling like a ball, can you come forward into a prone position? We're gonna lay all the way down on our mat setting up for a forearm plank. We are less than a minute and a half away, guys, from being done. Shoulders and elbows are set. Option to come to your knees to plank or straighten the legs out. We're gonna hover and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Watch the change. Up, up, 
then side, then side. So it's a little exhale, lift, exhale, then side. If you're on your knees, you can just go straight and tap, straight and tap. If the high plank with the options are too much for you today, just stay with me. So it's either up and up and touch and touch or it's down and center. Work within your options. Let's go five, good, four. Nice work guys, three, two, one. Tap your knees gently, come into a child's pose. Big inhale. We're on the home stretch everyone, stay in. Big breath. Little side to side sweep with our hips here. Whoo. All right, walk your hands back. Come onto your bums, kick your legs out in front of you. Last little step here, guys, to finish off. We're gonna roll all the way back onto our back. Hug yourself into a tight little ball. This is called single leg stretch from our Matt Pilates series. You're gonna tuck your left knee into your chest as you extend your right leg long. And then we're just gonna simply switch that in the air. All right, follow me, guys. One, two. Now, if this is too challenging with your neck and your shoulders away from your mat, option to lay your upper body down and keep the knees more bent. So this alternate tap is for someone who might have a back issue or not quite comfortable with this full extension. All right, let's go strong. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Go four, three, two. Let's bring everyone into a tight little ball here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can. We're gonna finish off this set with a little bicycle kick. Hands come behind the knees. We cross to pause, cross to pause, or touch to pause. So if you don't like that extended leg, option to keep the knees at 90 degrees. Out, good. This is slow. We're gonna take this a little faster now, everyone. One, two, three, exhale, reach. You got it, guys. Five and six, second set of eight. Let's go finish it off. Push and push, reach long. Four, push, three, exhale, two, and one. Both knees in the chest, reach your hands around your knees. Give yourself a tight little squeeze here. Big inhale. As we exhale, let's bring your upper body down to your mat. Lay your feet down, press into your heels, send your hips up for one more little bridge here to finish off through your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back. You send your arms up, spread your fingers really, really wide, press into your heels, isometric work for our back body, a little bit of balance for what we did with our front. Inhale. Really, really nice, everyone. Slowly, bone by bone, articulate yourself back down to your mat. One vertebra at a time, just like you're like on a beach and you want to put your spine, your spine down one vertebra at a time. Really nice, guys. Let's send your fingertips right over your head. Zip up your toes, reaching opposite. So as if I'm holding onto your index finger and your big toe, take a big breath in. Really nice work, everyone, today. Oh, let everything start to come down. So since we did so much work in flexion, we are going to just spin ourselves around and do a little bit of extension to cool down, okay? So from here, everyone, when you're ready, just slowly Make your way onto your front body. I'm gonna change the angle of my mat a little bit. You might be able to see me a little bit more, but you're gonna lay all the way on your front. Maybe not. <laughs> all right, we're gonna work into a little baby cobra. So we're gonna change the position of your hands a little bit. So the tops of your feet are gonna find your mat. So shoelaces down. Can you frame your mat with your fingertips and dome them? Looking down between your shoulder blades, take an inhale. And then as we exhale, pressing into the tops of your big toenails, push into your shoelaces, slowly begin to peel your chest up and away, any amount. Uh-huh, nice, inhale. And then as we exhale, oh, that feels so nice. Slowly start to melt your chest down to your mat. Again, inhale. As we exhale, press into your finger pads, begin to peel your sternum up and away from your mat. Really rooting into the mat behind you with your toes. And then lower down. Really nice work, everyone. Let's just try one more. Inhale. 
And then exhale, peel your chest up, holding that extension in your cobra. Big breath in. And big exhale, slowly laying yourself back down onto your mat. Awesome job, guys. You can make your way into a nice, easy child's pose. Crawling your hands back. We come back to frame our knees. I like to take my knees really wide here so I can get um, a little bit more room for my sternum to come down. Whatever feels good for your body this afternoon, everyone. Great job today. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your fingertips back to your knees, roll yourself up. So I think you know me a little bit by now. I really like to open our hips, particularly at the beginning of the week. So let's go ahead and come up and step our right leg forward. So option one is just to stay here in your low lunge. So stacking our shoulders on top of our hips. If you want to get a little bit more deep into the posture, you might consider lifting your left arm up. And then even more so grabbing a hold of your left wrist and really looking to the upper right corner of your mat. We're really warm right now, so it's a nice time to try something a little bit different. Your right hand might even find the mat. And then we spin and look underneath our left armpit. So these postures are really, really individual to you. So try and take a shape that feels good for you today. So nice, gently taking your left fingertips down, roll yourself up. And we're just really simply gonna walk this right knee back. Left leg comes forward. Again, check the posture here. So this left knee stacks over top of your left ankle. Draw your hips under and pull your ribs down. Yeah, Ooh, I already feel that. <laughs> now from here, you might play around with the opener a little bit more. Maybe there's the bind. Or maybe we find the mat. Oh, that's a stretch for me today. Big inhale. And exhale, release there, good. Pushing back into the feet here, finding your knees. One last little chest opener and, and um, posture stretch. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest. Round your spine, it's almost like a kneeling cow or cat, this is your kneeling cat. And then bring your palms to you, press your palms towards the sky, reach up. Remember how we started our workout with a little lateral bend? Can you go right? Big side body stretch for the left side, inhale. Can you go left? Amazing job, everyone feels so good. Come back to your center, last one. Find your bind or find your back. Press your chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. And then relax your arms, big shoulder roll. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Have a wonderful start to your week. We'll see you again.